scientists can't explain what huge object is blocking the light from this distant star. Scientists say we actually need to consider the possibility of aliens. I don't know if you know this, Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Alright, stop the presses. I said, I'm guessing they shall announce some form of alien life in 2015. I'm gonna predict that NASA and professional science will announce that they have found life before the end of 2015. We may have found our bucket. We may have found our magic bucket. So let's go ahead and pour some water in. What is going on at KIC? Eight four six two eight five two. Well, that's a good question. That is a great question. It's not every day that we have permission to throw aliens out there in relation to a confounding astronomical discovery. In fact, I don't think we ever have. But the discovery of a strange pattern of light surrounding a distant star called KIC 8462852 has seen even the most sensible astronomers throw up their arms with a sure, why not, aliens, Dyson Sphere, transhumans, 10,000 year old robot people arguing that the possibility of advanced alien technology can't reasonably be ignored. Wow, this is fantastic. Aliens should always be the very last hypothesis you should consider. But this looked like something you would expect an alien civilization to build. Hey, can I see those photographs? I swear, like 30% of Thor News astronomy is just going, hey, can I see the photographs? <laughs> no. Okay, let me read that again. This looked like something you would expect an alien civilization to build. Oh, wow. My prediction might have come true. Uh, then on that note, I predict I will find a good woman by Christmas. And we will make out all the time. Sweet. All right. We have found aliens. Well, asterisk. Let me asterisk that for you. First up, though, a little about the star in question. Kick, located about 1,500 light years away between Cygnus and Lyre constellations. <laughs> Can't say that with a straight face. Cygnus and Lyre, constellations of our Milky Way galaxy. Kick is brighter, hotter, and more massive than our sun. It was first discovered by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope in 2009, and scientists have been tracking the light it emits ever since, along with another 150000 or so newly discovered stars. It's about... 150,000, I think. They do this because it's the best way to locate distant planets. Slight dips in a star's brightness signal the fact that it might have one or more large objects orbiting it in a regular fashion. These brightness dips are usually very slight, with the stars dimming by less than 1% every few days, weeks, or months, depending on the planet's orbit, says astronomer Phil Plate. Wait, I thought he used to be an astronomer, but is now a science communicator. I guess you can be both. Go ahead, Phil. Get down with your bad self, Blue Beetle. Blue Pill Phil. What makes Kick such a strange star is to study that not only are there way more dips of brightness than expected, these dips are highly irregular. There's no periodic orbiting going on here, just a bunch of strange, light-blocking shapes with no discernible pattern to them. Wow. Can we see a lot of these photographs, maybe? That'd be my vote. And these dimming effects are significant. Scientists are reporting that at one point, the amount of starlight dropped by 15%, and then at another 22%. And this tells us a whole lot, says Blue Pill Phil Plate. Straight away, we know we're not dealing with a planet here. Even a Jupiter-sized planet only blocks, even a Jupiter-sized planet only blocks roughly 1% of this kind of star's light. And that's about as big as a planet gets. What? Planets can get bigger, Phil, I think. It can't be due to a star either. We'd see it if it were. And the lack of a regular repeating signal belies both of these as well. Whatever is blocking that star is big, though up to half the width of the star itself. That is crazy. Maybe the AI gray gooed everything in, maybe the artificial intelligence gray gooed everything into just a giant big blob of gray goo. <sighs> Does artificial intelligence count as life? That is a good question. The most obvious explanation for hundreds of irregular dimming events is that Kick 8462852 has a mass of space junk all kinds of rocks and dust of varying sizes and shapes circling it in tight formation. We've never seen anything like this star. From Yale University in the US told him, it was really weird. Oh my god, I love it when science uses Thor News lines. We're gonna have to continue this in part two. Uh, this video just popped up, I thought it was fascinating and it is extremely in depth, so I'm gonna have to cover it really well. Part one, 
We found alien life. Asterisk. Woohoo. Uh, can they teleport? Are they female? Do they, are they human? Are they human female? Do they kind of look like humans? I don't know. What do these shapes look like? Oh, yeah. Can I see some photographs? Okay. Be back soon. It's like a cliffhanger. Sweet. Let's get sensational, sensational, you know I want to get sensational, let me hear your sensations talk.